Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Petey of Family Life 876. All right, so today we'll be featuring me baking Easter bun. Homemade Easter bun. Now, um, I don't know if it's just Jamaican tradition or Caribbean tradition or whatever, and I don't know the significance of Easter bun and cheese when it's Easter time, but that's a big thing here. However, because we all know the situation that is going on, I am watching my dollar. So I had most of the ingredients already at home. The only thing I didn't have was the raisin and the cherry and the stout, but I had everything else. So I decided, why not? Why not make my own homemade Easter bun? So if you'd like to see how I achieve this, then just Stick around for that video. Hey guys, so, so I have these things here. This is my mixed spice, cinnamon powder, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and nutmeg. Cherry soaking, raisin soaking, that look disgusting to me. That look very disgusting, but anyway, they want to soak. I have my butter here. Two eggs, two dragon, guava jelly, um, molasses, back of squeeze up because molasses thick, and some browning. My sauce pot right and here. And I have my flour. See, mess up. I have my flour here and my sugar here. So, what I have here now is my sauce pot on medium heat. And I'm going to add the dragon stout. So I'm using two bottles of stout. I'm 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 wanting to make two buns, so I'm using two stouts. So I'm going to put it on low now. So that's two dragon stouts, and I'm going to add all of this anchor butter unsalted anchor butter 227 grams i'll be adding all of this to the dragon stout as well all right so i've added the butter to the stout and i've turned the fire from medium heat and put it to low so medium heat on my stove would be about um to the mark of three and now i've put it on low so i'm just going to leave this here so that the belt the butter <laughs> and just completely melt out into the dragon so if you want to make one bun you use one stout and half of the butter but i want to make two buns my family is pretty it's it's large enough it's five of us that's here um so i'm making two buns i'm just going to leave that now to completely melt so now that the butter is completely melted i'm going to go ahead and Add my sugar. You can use white sugar, but you want your bun and cheese of you know the nice color and brown sugar is more healthy as well. So be using the brown sugar to that. I will be leaving um the quantity of the ingredients down in the description bar below. So this is the stout the butter and the brown sugar that is in this now to this i'm also going to add add two eggs whisked all right so this is two eggs whisked i'm just going to add that to it as i said guys everything is doubled for me because i need two buns five of us here i need two buns we're just going to leave that to simmer a little bit more you know get everything incorporated okay guys so I'll be using guava jelly in mine you can use strawberry you can use guava may I eyeball this so one tablespoon two tablespoons of guava to this, I'll also be adding a tablespoon of molasses. So, 
That's about it. That's a... Add two tablespoons because I'm doubling my recipe. So two tablespoons of molasses. So two tablespoons of jam, two tablespoons of molasses. To this mixture, I'm going to add some browning. Now you're not going to add too much browning because nobody cook with browning, you know. Browning make your food black. So I'm just going to add one tablespoon and lick a bit. Just eyeball that. So let's add a little browning. And this now is going to be left on, I put it on low simmer for like 15 minutes and then I'm going to move on now to my dry ingredients. Guys, so the flour has already been sifted. Kino is here assisting me. Right now you'll be adding the mixed spice. Then the baking, well, baking soda, right? Salt, cinnamon, no, that's not meg, that's not meg, baking so soda powder. Anyway, the directions will be in the um, the directions will be in the description bar, and then the last thing you'll be adding is the cinnamon. And then you sift those through and then we'll mix the dry ingredients together. Okay, guys, so here we have our flour mixture. What I'm going to do now is to combine it with the liquid. So this, this was already cooling. So I'm just going to add it a little bit at a time. You're supposed to leave back some. So um, we can just say you leave back like a quarter of the liquid mixture because you'll need some of that at the end. So I'm just going to... Mix and add, mix and add. Not going to throw in everything all at once. And when I'm baking, I like to use a wooden spoon. I don't like to use metal spoon when I'm baking. So just try and mix up all of this. So you cut, fold, cut. Fold. I learned that in food and nutrition at high school when you're baking. Cut, fold, cut, fold. I'm just going to mix this up. Alright, so I've mixed that together. What I'm going to do now is to add my raisins. But before I add my raisins, these are the raisins that I had soaking. I'm going to just add a little flour to it and mix them around. Because the flour will help them not to like sink right to the bottom of the mix. I'm just going to add some flour and just mix around the raisins that I had soaking and then I'm going to just add them to this. As well as I'm going to add my cherries and just mix those in as well.
Guys, I'm going to also add some vanilla just for a little extra flavoring. About two corkfuls, two corks full of vanilla. I mix that in. Just for a little extra, you know. A little flavor, extra flavor in the bun. Cut and fold to mix in everything. All right, over here now, I have my tins already prepared. I put a little oil on the bottom and I have grease paper in there. So I'm just going to start putting the butter in now and you try to pour from the middle for it to run outwards. As I say, I want to make two buns. So, yeah. This is it. So you just want to do it like that to release any air that might be in the bun. As well as it will help to level it up. So I had left over some of my raisin and cherry just to put on top like a decoration and so. I you know what you want to see. You want to see some on top when it finish. The end result of the bun. Oh, you know that it's done. I'm just you just get something and stick it in it, and it comes out clean. So you know that it's done, right? It's done. So the liquid that was left over, I'm just going to take this now. And usually you would brush it on, but I don't have no brush, so I'm just going to put it over a top. Use my ladle and put it over on top of the bun like this. This will give it the nice glazed look. So I've already turned my oven off, but then I'm going to put this back in there. So the heat that is in the oven will just um, set it. Just to let you guys know, this is not an original recipe. Of course, you know, I googled something and I looked at different YouTube videos and whatever seemed to be the easiest um, because as I said, I had most of the ingredients at home, then I just, you know, did it as well. So it's not an original recipe, but I will leave the ingredients of how I achieved it in the description bar below so if you'd like to try it then you can try it on your own if you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like this or even if you don't want to see it sometime i'm gonna make some more video like this <laughs> well please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you know when i upload a new video for my new um subscribers thank you so much for joining the family for the ones who have been here um, thank you. Thank you for supporting. I really appreciate it and see you guys in my next video.